Today, I present to you the biggest, most ridiculous gun in the world, Fury the Punt Gun. The bore of this thing is 1.68 inches in diameter. And for some reference, this is a golf ball. The barrel is six foot long and has an overall length of nine feet. We're talking 23,000 pellets. It will also fire this one pound lead ball. This thing produces upwards of 800 pounds of recoil. All right, here we go. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And here at Kentucky Ballistics, I am dedicated to bringing you the biggest, most ridiculous guns in the entire world. And today, I present to you the biggest, most ridiculous gun in the world, Fury the Punt Gun. So what is a punt gun? Well, a punt is what they used to call a little John boat, and this is a punt gun. They used to attach these to boats to do commercial duck hunting. This thing is capable of firing over a pound of shot or a one pound lead ball. The bore of this thing is 1.68 inches in diameter. And for some reference, this is a golf ball. The barrel is six foot long and has an overall length of nine feet. And this thing weighs in at a hefty 150 pounds. This is a 12 gauge shotgun shell loaded with double lot buck. It has nine pellets in there. Fury here is capable of throwing 150 40 pellets at once. When it comes to number 12 shot, we're talking 23,000 pellets, or as I mentioned, it will also fire this one pound lead ball, and here it is compared to a shotgun shell. So you may be asking yourself, how would someone possibly shoot a gun so large? This thing produces upwards of 800 pounds of recoil. It would absolutely rip you in half. Except me, I could totally shoot it. I'd eat the recoil for breakfast, but I did arms today and I'm a little tired. So instead, I brought out my handy dandy carriage, which will help to absorb the recoil. I just pull this little string, bring it forward, and then when the gun goes off, it will slide backwards and absorb all of the recoil. If you're gonna have a giant gun, you're gonna have some giant targets. So today, I have several 55 gallon drums of water. We're gonna blast them. So what does a quarter pounder in my punt gun have in common? Well, I have a quarter pounder in my belly and Fury here is loaded up with a quarter pound of black powder along with a one pound ball, which is also 7,000 grains, depending on who you ask. And down there we have five 55 gallon drums of water, which is 275 gallons. You are about to witness some extreme energy transfer. Looks about right. We are ready to rock and roll. Now all I have to do is just uh, pull back this giant hammer. Okay, this is my first time shooting this thing. So uh, for at least the first shot up, uh, I'm gonna hide behind an engine block. You know, because reasons. Okay, here we go. Oh! Okay, look at all this. 
I wonder how many we made it through. One, two, three. Looks like looks like we stopped in number three. It is probably inside that 55 gallon barrel. And let's inspect the gun here. It's looking pretty solid. I mean, I would expect nothing less. It weighs 150 pounds. Okay, back to the first jug. Look at this split. That is absolutely insane. This plastic is super thick. Here's number two. And it's also split pretty good. Number three, and then over here, number four has a pretty big dent in it down there. That was an insane amount of energy. And if you're wondering just how much energy, we're looking at over 25,000 foot pounds of muzzle energy. Also, if you're wondering where I am today, this is my second range. This will be my permanent range probably here in the next year. But today I thought we would break it in with a punt gun. Ah, ah. <laughs> it's right there. You can see it perfectly. Oh. Look at that. That is massive. Well, that was the 7,000 grain lead ball. Let's try out some other rounds. Are you enjoying this video? Well, make sure you don't miss out on any future punt gun action by hitting that subscribe button. Do it. Do it! Okay, so this time, Fury here is loaded up with number 12 shot. Those are tiny little pellets. In a 12 gauge, you're looking at about 1,500 pellets. Fury here will hold over 23,000 pellets. This should be quite a spread. Not gonna stand behind the truck this time. I'm gonna get the full effect. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. supposed to have a spread but we were still kind of close I do not well no we did we have some pellets here on this but it seems like the majority of them stayed together and punched this 55 gallon drum of water so many little pellets are on this thing I mean it is just completely peppered it, number 12 shot that was pretty impressive. But I think this next round is gonna be even more impressive. So this is double lot buck. That is the same size as a nine millimeter bullet. A 12 gauge shell holds about nine. Fury here holds 140 of those things. He's loaded up and ready to go. I am very excited to see what happens when we blast this jug. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. some extreme energy transfer. That did a whole lot better of a job 
than that number 12 shot. Look at this. Just blew an absolute hole in the front of this thing. Look at all of these pellets. 440 pounds. Hit it like an NFL linebacker. Wow. It did not make it all the way through it. There are some little marks on the back where it almost did. It's just full of pellets and they are all smushed. All right, for this last shot, we are gonna be loaded up with a wax slug. This should be pretty eventful. Last shot of the day, and I guarantee you, it's gonna be a good one. Here we go. Dude, when that thing goes off, it is just such a different sound. Like it's a thud just hits you in the chest. Look at this. That wax slug was not playing around. <laughs> Look at the grass. Just all this smoke in the grass. All right, well that's gonna be it for today's video. What do you think about Fury the punt gun? Let me know in the comment section down below along with what would you like to see me blast with this thing first? This project was over a year in the making, so I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics and you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. Ugh.